Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, morning, everybody. Afternoon to everybody in the East Coast. And we're here today just to let everybody know a little bit about Suprema because I am sure there's a lot of confusion about Suprema as we had has taken over distribution as of July 2019. We um, used to have 11 different partners all over the world. So Suprema was always sold differently than everybody else. They chose 11 different partners all over the world, sold the product to them, and in turn, those partners sold to Distribution Channel. Um, we felt that we weren't getting enough exposure, so we decided to build our own US-based sales team and form Suprema America, which is a part of Suprema Inc. And as of July 19, as I said, we now have our own office in Florida, our own tech support, um, and we sell to distribution. Everything is bought from Suprema America into distribution and sold. Um, I know we have been connected with BioConnect, who's a great partner of ours. They are a software company. They still buy our product, but they're no longer available to sell Suprema in distribution. So I just want to clarify that, that if anybody looks for Suprema, it has to be from Suprema America. So just a little bit about us. We are a leading global provider of security and biometrics. Our headquarters is in South Korea. We have 250 employees. We're one of the world's top 50 largest security companies. We've been established in 2000. Our US is 84 million plus, and we're authorized in 86 countries throughout the world. We have a strong commitment to research and development, and Supreme has always been very conscious of the product. Um, we try to make the best product that we can put out with the least amount of issues. So we have 40% of our employees engaged in R&D. Our turnover is reinvested in R&D, and we have 100-plus industry-leading patents. We have worldwide global offices. We have eight of them, including the U.S., which we did here in uh, Florida. It's actually in Lake Mary, which we opened that, I think it was September of 2019. And that is where our office and our tech support is located. We have a warehouse in Texas. So we ship out of Texas, but all the orders go into Florida. We have 86 authorized partners worldwide. So Europe leads us with, is second with 21, Asia Pacific is 28. And uh, since we've been available in 2019 in July, we have brought on uh, 19 partners. Just a little bit about the sales team is myself, I'm the sales director. We have Chris Donahue, who has a lot of experience. He's the Southeast Regional Sales Manager. He was with Security Door Controls in Paxton. We have Andy Lau. He's an, an ex-ADI branch manager, um, very well known in the West. We have David Taylor, who came from Ditech, very, very knowledgeable in the industry. Um, we also have a workforce management and time clock side, which I don't think anybody really knew that Suprema has. And we have a vice president, and we call it workforce management, and it's Stephen Sardi. So we actually build time clocks also. This is our USA tech team out of Florida. Jeff Donahue is our lead tech. We have Ruben Vogler. This is our technical engineer, Michael Murphy. And we will be growing this team more and more as we go. They work in hand with our Korean tech support team. Um, but most of the tech issues we take care of here in the U.S. Our inside office staff is Jennifer Rustic as our office manager, and we have Shelby Johnson as administrative assistant. Manufacturer rep coverage. So the way we built a team here in the U.S., we need feet on the street, so we went the rep world. So currently, as I had mentioned, we have a, a regional manager in the southeast. We have myself as the director covering the northeast. We have David in Texas and Andy in the west. We have no regional manager in the upper mid but we will be hiring one this year. So our rep firm in the West is PSR, and they cover all these territories I had show, California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado. We have Campion, this Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, and all those states you see. Southeast Security Products, very well known, very, very good at what they do. Virginia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi. We actually kept Southeast Security and also PSR. They had our line before with our previous partner, and we kept them on because of the knowledge of the product. 
We have Mid-Atlantic Reps, which covers everywhere from Mid-Virginia, mid so what, from Richmond up. They do not have New York, but they do go up to Massachusetts, Vermont, and upstate New York. In New York and Northern New Jersey, and just in Milford, Connecticut, I have AEK Marketing. And in the area where we don't have a re RSM, but very important to us, is Synergy Marketing, or SMC. That's Keith Pope's group. North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, they do a very, very good job for us. Um, also, I want to let you, let you know that a lot of our rep firms here, I think there's three of them, that do have digital watchdog, we integrate with them too, so that's a good thing. So if you need any coverage or any help, those are the rep firms that you would get in touch with. So what is Suprema? What I'm going to try to get the message across is we're not just a biometric solution, and that's where people think we only have. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to people and they, I say, what do you know about us? And they say, well, I know you have one biometric reader. That's not the truth. We are a total security solution provider. We have end-to-end -end access control solutions, and we also do time and attendance. We have our own biometric core technologies, and we have remote and contactless mobile solutions. So as I had said before, the quality control is for the independent organizations. Development are made from the finest quality components were designed and made in Korea at the state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. And I was there for two weeks and state-of-the-art is, is really not the word should be used. It is amazing the facilities that we have and we are fully compliant with ISO standards. So Biostar, that's what we call our access control platform. It's an end-to-end -end access control and time and attendance solution. So we have two different systems here. We have a distributed solution, which means that all the readers you will see from the distributed solution are actual panels. No panel is ever needed to use our product. Everything is stored on the reader and in the software. All these readers have power, some have PoE, Wiegand RS45, normally open, normally closed contacts coming off the back. So that is a physical panel. This system will allow you to do up to 1,000 doors. Our software platform is Biostar 2. It does access control and time and attendance. We also have a mobile app. Our peripherals are an output extension module, which is our elevator control, which I'll talk about later. Our single door secure module, which is called a SIO, or secure door IO, and a multi-door extension. Our second solution, everybody loves the panel. We came out with one because there is customers in the field that want a panel. So we call that our centralized solution because everything is held on the panel, all the information. So we have our access controller, we have fingerprint readers and RFID readers. The good thing about our solution is if your customer is thinking about biometrics and they do not want to rip everything out and start fresh, you can take out their old panel, use existing wiring and their existing third party readers and just add our panel to it. And then you can add biometrics down the road. So it's an easy adaptable system. For credentials, we do fingerprint, we do face, we do card, pin and mobile access. So our business units, as I said before, Biostar, which is our USA business, is access control, time and attendance systems, and workforce management. We have another company in Suprema called Suprema ID, which is real scan and bio mini. They're fingerprint scanners for ID. And we have BioSign. We do a lot of work with other companies for fingerprint on phones. So our modules are used all over the world. So Biostar 2 software, which we'll go over, we have our distributed system, which are edge readers. We have our centralized system, which is our core station. And we'll get into the core station kit. So our distributed system portfolio, we have a different bunch of different readers here. We have three factor authentication. So we have a bio station two, it's a little bigger unit. It's a four by four. It does finger, card and pin. And please keep in mind that we make our readers to work with everybody's cards, as long as it's not a proprietary card. But you have to order the reader to match the card. So 
If you have an HID card, you have to order the, the BioStation or whatever other reader we have that will work with the HID card. We also sell it in regular RFID, 26-bit, and we also sell it in iClass, which will read everybody's card. So we have a BioStation 2. We have a BioStation A2, which has a built-in camera. So that's a perfect unit that will integrate with intercom systems and door phones. We have the BioLight N2, and we have the BioStation L2, which is an older unit, but we still have some left, but the BioLight N2 is finger card and pin. Now, all these have screens on them. So you can actually enroll at those units. You don't need to have the software. If you didn't want to have it, you can actually enroll at those units. Our facial recognition, we have the Face Station 2. This is a, one of the top selling units that we have. That's face, card, and it has a virtual keypad. It also is available to get a tilt mount so you can move it up and down for different heights. And then we came out with a face light, which we'll get into later. That's a single camera unit. It's facial, it's a million style. So um, we made it for one camera, it's a black and white screen compared to the FS2, which is a, a color screen. And the face light is only face and card, no pin pad. <laughs> Two factor authentication. We have a bio entry W2, which is the outdoor reader, and the P2, which is the indoor reader. Same reader, the only difference is the W2 is outdoor and it is also PoE. So the W2 is 12 volt DC or PoE. All our readers are 12 volt DC except for the face readers, which are 24 volt DC. So we have indoor, outdoor, PoE version readers for biometrics. Down here, we have the RFID readers. And this is where people do not understand that we have this. We have regular card readers only. So we have an older version XPass V2 and XPass Slim V2 which has been replaced with XPass 2. The XPass 2 is our newest version. They hold a lot of users and they are also a controller. So you can do one door, 10 doors, 15 doors, 30 doors with just the reader. So this is how a distributed system would be set up with us. You can do standalone secure, meaning you're using the secure IO and we suggest the secure IO if you have exterior doors because if somebody pulls a reader off the door without that secure module, they will be able to get in. With the secure module, they cannot get in because they'd have to trip that door, that secure module. So you can do standalone secure or just standalone. And then everything else is put on the network, as you can see. Okay, and it all goes back to the web browser client, back to our server, and it's all controlled that way. You have Biostar Mobile. So you can do up to a thousand doors this way. This is a great system, especially using a POE version reader no panel needed, especially if you're starting fresh, because it, to me, it's a lot less wiring to do this. And we have our enrollment devices, as you see up here, it's a Bio Mini 2, it's a fingerprint enrollment device, and we have a smart card reader called the DE620. Now we're gonna get into the core station. This is our centralized or panel system. We came out with core station and we decided people love kits, so let's start coming out with a core station kit. So we came out with this kit. It's about, I would say three months old. It gives you a, a CS40 panel, our core station, four of the XPass D2 thin style readers. And we also give you a free link for Biostar 2 software. And at the end of this presentation, I'll give you the different licenses that we have for software. And our kits can be done with the gang box reader, the gang box with pin and biometric also. So here's the part number for our kit. It's CST-4DR-D2M. In ADI, the prefix is BS. And one thing we did not include is our enclosure, because as you see, our enclosure is pretty big, but we'll get into my enclosure. So our kit and our core station, scalability on it, it's perfect for a small business market. As you can see, we have some ADI branches that have the kits in. It is an H-coded item, so they can bring it in. So we have our different kits. We have the kit one, which is the little readers, the thin style. We have kit two with the gang box, the kit three with gang box with pin, and the kit four with the fingerprint readers, the bio entry R2. Okay. So this is our centralized system products that we have, our readers, the bio entry R2. We call these the dummy readers because they, nothing is held on and they go right to our panel. So we have the BioEntry R2, 
the XPS D2 emollient style, XPS D2 K style with the pin pad, and the G style of the gang box. Our panel is called the CS40. And the peripherals, we have the DM20, which is the door module, and the OM120, which is our elevator control. The one good thing about our centralized system, it allows you to do 132 doors expandable with one panel. All you do is add our expansion modules. Every expansion module takes two doors. So unlike other company systems where every certain amount of doors you need a new panel, we don't. It's one panel, expansion modules, and you get up to 132 doors. So here's our control panel just to show you a little bit. It performs 400,000 matches a second, stores up to 5 million text logs, controls 64 RS-485 devices, stores up to 500,000 users and RFD cards one-to-one, -one. controls 132 Wigan devices with a DM20 and one second matching speed for up to eight fingerprint devices. It's a very powerful little panel. It gets networked, the network connection is up top, and the power gets up, is up there also. This is just a little closer look at the reader interface. As you can see, we have RS-45, we have the power, you can put a Wigan reader, you have your reader for your LEDs, your two inputs for your request to exit or your door sensor, and your relays. This is our door module. It's a DM20. Controls up to two doors. So every time you add a DM20, you get two readers. It has an anti-pass back when you put four Suprema readers, has two Wigan interfaces with third-party readers, and you can daisy chain to connect up to 62 Wigan readers. This is how you would set up our system. So you had your core station, you can go off the 485 to the DM20, and you add two readers. You can use third-party readers also. So you just keep adding DM20s down the line until you get to what you need. And you can see on the bottom, we have our BioNTR 2 to the 45 car reader. We have our alarms and our sensors. And it all goes back to our BioStar 2 software. It's the same software for distributed system or for centralized system. So the readers that are in that kit are called XPS D2. And there's a reason why I brought this slide up, because a lot of people mistake them. It's dual frequency, it's outdoor rated, and it's mobile ready. Okay, they're very, our readers are very good looking readers, so they're not something that you would be afraid to put on a high-end home or thing or places like that. We do very well at data centers, we do very well in warehouses. Um, a lot of hedge fund companies are using our product, pharmacies, um, you know, so it's not, a, they're not readers that are, are ugly to say. They're very well-made, good-looking product. This is our secure I.O. As you can see, I talked about that before. You go to the reader to secure I.O. for the exit button, and then you take your secure I.O. and you go to your door lock. So as I said, we have relays off our readers. We always suggest to power your lock separately. You can power it off our reader, but we do suggest to power it separately. This is our elevator control. Each module supports 12 relays. Each elevator configuration in BioStar 2 can do up to 192 floors with 12 relays and 16 OM120s. When an anti-pass back alarm is triggered, it can be configured to send out a signal. Select elevator groups can be added and managed in fire zones. It's internally equipped with terminating resistors to allow for RS-45 connections. Very powerful little module. And I do have some people that use this, not for elevator controls, but because they need more relays for what they're doing, they utilize this product also. This is the reason why I brought up that other slide, the XPass D2, because this slide, they look just like it. This is called the XPass 2. As I had said earlier in that, my presentation, a lot of people get mixed up. They'll order the XPass D2s thinking that they are the standalone units. XPass 2 is the standalone units. And they're very powerful, one gigahertz CPU, 80,000 user capacity, dual frequency, and they will do HID cards, and they are outdoor, and they're mobile ready to work with our new mobile credential. Big thing right now in the times we are, and it's a shame in the times that we are in, but people want contactless solutions. We have it. We have true contactless solutions in the Face Station 2 and the Face Light. 
Our face station two is one of the most advanced recognition terminals in the industry. It, regardless of light conditions, because our cameras are wide dynamic in there, we perform 25,000 LX of operating luminance. 3,000 matches a second. It's very, very fast. 5 million text log. It accepts Biostar mobile card with Bluetooth for NFC. It will do BLE on the, the bigger, the I-Class model. It'll do BLE also. Scores 30,000 users and 50,000 image logs. It's a very powerful unit and it's very fast. It does face, the card reader is up top and it has a virtual pin pad. So if they want a pin pad, they can do a pin pad. But right now for contactless solution, they would probably not want to use a pin pad, but if they do, it's there. And then we have our face light. Small unit, black and white screen. The screen on a FS2 is four inches. The screen on the face light is two inches. Same user capacity, um, but it's just a million style. No pin pad on this unit, but very fast also. Same 3,000 matches a second. Thermal cameras are big. We integrate with different companies' cameras through a TTL or an input. You can do that right to our face products, and it will tell you the body temp of the person and will not allow access. We will, Suprema, will be coming out with something, I'm going to say August or July. It's going to be a module, and I'm going to go back. On top of the face station is a USB port. It's going to be a module that's going to plug right into the top of the USB port and it will also tell you the body temperature of the person. So if anybody has this product in the field and needs to have a body temp camera on it, they can buy that module when it becomes available and stick it right into the USB port and they'll have the body temp. This is our comparison on the face two and the face light. As you can see, face card and pin on the face station two, same, memory, keypad on the face station two is a touch keypad. IR LEDs, you have eight on the face light and 140 on the face station two. Four inch screen, two inch screen, same user capacity. The only, and the difference in cards here, this one does, the face light will do MyFair HID procs, and the face station two will do everybody's cards, especially if you go with iClass. Wigan is one port on the face light. We have two ports on the face station. And then the in and out is two inputs, one relay, one tamper. And the face station two does have Wi-Fi. So you can do Wi-Fi. Let's get into a little overview before we get into the mobile. So a BioStar 2 access control platform gives you customized system architecture. You're allowed elevated control, zone management, server matching, video logs, and cybersecurity. I did, didn't mention that we do integrate with video. You can get a clip or a video by integrating our products with an NVR, and we integrate with a, a bunch of different companies right now. BioStar 2 TA time and attendance. Let your customer set various shifts, set overtimes, easy shift type setting, and timesheets, and they get a report every week. So I have customers that use just use our products for time and attendance, or both. So you can do it, and, and time and attendance is one license that you buy if it's over 100 users. A mobile solution, we have two mobile solutions. One is Biostar 2 Mobile, which I'll get into. But Biostar 2 Mobile lets you do remote user registration, remote door control, real-time door and zone status, access control, monitoring, and mobile cards. You think about Biostar 2 Mobile app as Biostar 2 software, because everything you can do on the software, you can do through your phone. And we are an open platform. Our SDK is open to everybody, and so is our API. So Biostar 2 mobile solutions. We have a knowledge base link that you can click on. But on the Biostar 2 mobile, you manage users on the fly. As I said, you can control your doors remotely, gives you real-time monitoring, and gives you live notifications on your door open, your forced door held open, tampering. Everything that you see on the software, you will be able to see on your phone. A new um, product is Suprema Mobile Access. It's a contactless solution. It works with third party readers when we'll have our new product come out called AirFob. And you do remote management online also. But it works with NFC and Bluetooth. And as I mentioned, it does work with third party readers. 
This is our mobile credential. We sell a mobile credential by credential or per device. You buy per device, it's a year, and it's unlimited credentials per device. So you, you can buy, it's called a dynamic credential. You buy that, you register in our portal, and you go through Biostar 2, and you can use third party. It's very easy, no touch. So if they don't want to use the card, they have it on their phone. And like I said, we just started to came up with the pricing for a year, or you can buy separate credentials. Once you do join in the mobile credential portal, everybody gets 50 credits free. Our Suprema device manager, this is where you would set up your devices. As you can see, you set up your readers that you have and your network settings and your slave device. So when you get close to the rear, if it's an XPass D2, you just go into your device, you touch it, and then you can get into your place of business. Here's our license levels. So Biostar 2 is our software, as mentioned. We give you free software for five doors, thousand devices, okay? One thing everybody has to remember is if you connect our devices to somebody else's platform and you're using that other company's platform as your access control, we don't care if you have 70 doors. If you're using the other company's access platform to do everything, you can use the free software. Because all you'd be using my software for is to do enrollments and manage your users. That's it. Because you're going to be connecting our readers to your other panel from another company through the Wigan out. You're going to configure the Wigan from our, from our software. But you can use the free. If you have more than five doors and you're not using anybody else's, you go up to the basic. And then we go in up to standard, which gives you the mobile uh, Biostar 2 mobile. Gives you schedule lock and unlock. And we go all the way up to enterprise. As I said, we do up to a thousand doors. So we are a full access platform. And that's what we want to really get the point across is we have to get people to understand that Suprema America is not just a biometric device. We do everything. We have full access control, very affordable access control and very good access control. It works. I'm not going to tell you people don't get bad out of the box because everybody does but our failure rate is less than 1%. As I said, we integrate with everybody. So this is just a few, but we integrate with over 80 different companies. Software House, Honeywell, Genetech, Gallagher, PDK, you can see here, Linnell, AMAG. And we have a direct integration with AMAG with our N2. So I've done many integrations with Keyscan, and I've done many with, with Kerry. All you do is just use my software to do the enrollments. Very, very simple. <laughs> the other part of our business, as I had said, is workforce management. This is a part of the business that nobody really knows that Suprema has. We make our own time clocks. So if you have a customer who wants a regular time clock, we have it. Yes, it looks like our regular product, but it's, it's built as a time clock. As you can see here, the Novus product, some companies want a card reader on the side. That is an option. So if they want to buy it with the card reader or without, they can. If they want to buy a card reader, they can plug that in. But these are physical time clocks for time and attendance. Not like my time and attendance that you have within my access control. This is a physical time clock. Think of an ADP or a paychecks. It's, it's just like that. Okay? So I hope that I have kind of made everybody understand that Suprema America is our own company. We are not BioConnect. They are a software company. We have our own tech support. We have our own office. We are our own company. We have more than biometrics. We want people to understand that we can do full access control. And we can do it a distributed system way or a centralized system way. You can just have readers and no panel, or you can have the panel. You can replace somebody else's panel with ours. We are trying to make people understand that it, it's not that we don't want people to know we're biometrics, but we want people to know that we're an access control company. And that's why we are thinking of changing from Suprema Biometrics to Suprema Security and Biometrics. And that's what we want to get across today. So hopefully I, I clear that up a little bit for you. And 
if we have any questions later on, we can, but I'm going to move it over to Andrea Powers from ADI. All right. Thanks a lot, Bob. I appreciate it. I'm going to attempt to share my screen. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Can you see it? I'm going to assume you can see it. <laughs> um, so thanks, everyone. I appreciate you joining us today. Um, thanks, Bob, for your presentation. Very good stuff. Um, but I wanted to let you know if you're interested in learning more about the Suprema product line presented or any ADI low voltage solution, give us a call um, at our system design team. This system's been providing design services for over 28 years for ADI customers, and um, they have a ton of experience and would be very happy to share that with you if you have any projects or any design needs coming up. Um, I want to give you the phone number. It's up on the screen, but it's 1-800-234-7971. Our hours of operation are listed at the bottom, and I also listed an email address in case you want to email some information or something um, that they need to look at visually. Um, we monitor that in the email box, and we'll turn that around usually within 24 hours. So... Um, I will um, thank, again, thank you again for joining us today, and I'm going to turn it back over to Bob and Mike so that you can do some question and answer. And Bob, I'm going to ask you to just grab the screen back. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's see if everybody can see my screen. Everybody see my screen? Right now, we've got like what amounts to the home screen, Bob. How's that? Um, not seeing any, not seeing anything yet. Um, hmm. Taking it back over and put up a Suprema logo or something. Okay, let me see. I can get it back up here. But while we're waiting, if you all have questions, please put them in the Q and A box. Right now, I'm not seeing any. How's that? Can you see it now? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I don't see any in the question and answers either. We do have one that came in on chat, which I will read to you while uh, we're waiting to see if we get more. Can this centralized system work with Suprema biometric readers that was originally installed seven years ago under Biostar 1.8? Well, Biostar 1.8 is very, very old and Biostar 1 is not supported anymore. What they can do, depending on the readers they have, they can upgrade the reader if the reader is part of the uh, group of readers that we have that will work with the new Biostar 2. Um, if they do, they upgrade the reader, they have to upgrade the software to 1.3, and then do a database migration to our new software, Biostar 2.8. If not, they'd have to change the readers and go into Core Station. Because Biostar 1 is, 1.8 is about four years old. Thank you. I hope that answers your questions. question, Robert. Does anybody else have any questions before we... Oh, Alan Barlow wants to know, is demo equipment available like the Omnis? Yes. Demo equipment is available. We do a 30 or 45 day demo. And um, obviously you have to sign a paper to send it back to us, but yes, we do do, we do, do that. And if you, wanna, if you wanna purchase a demo, we do offer a discount to purchase a demo through distribution. Perfect. I hope that answers your question, Alan. Um, so why don't you, um, you got some words of wisdom as we uh, wrap up the week here, Bob? Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom, you know, in the times that we are in, it's, it's a tough time. But everybody will be stronger for what we've gone through. And the world's going to be a little different than what we're used to. But think of, you know, I'm, I'm going to get away from the product for words of wisdom. Just think of your family at this time and just think of everybody being safe. And, you know, there's no other better words of wisdom than that. Perfect. Uh, Benedict and anybody else that wants to know, this webinar will be hosted on ADI's YouTube channel. It usually takes a couple of days to get posted. 
and you can get there by adiglobaldistribution.us or .ca, which is the homepage for ADI, and then forward slash webinars. Um, I'd like to say in closing that every access control system that I ever worked on would grow five to seven times across its lifetime. So, you know, even if you get a single reader on a single door, it's your foot in the door to get more opportunities with that organization. And I encourage you to look for those. Um, I do hope that you found today's webinar um, useful. And I hope that uh, if you're not yet selling access control, this will help you find your way in. As we're working with biometrics and touchless solutions, that's what everybody needs right now, even if they don't know uh, what to ask for, and you can help them with that. Uh, we are continuing these webinars through at least the end of the month, and the schedule will be posted for the last week of the month by Tuesday, so you'll see what we have available. Uh, I hope everybody is safe. I hope you have a great weekend as things continue opening up, and I will see you on next week's webinar.